Welcome back to Daily Grace. Psalm 84.4 says, Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Those who dwell in the house of God can't stop praising. Have you ever experienced something so amazing that you couldn't stop going on about it to your friends? Maybe it was a great movie, or a fancy vacation, or a special event where you got to meet the lead singer. Everybody at some point has found themselves in this feeling, and it is a great feeling. Non-stop adoration and praise. Psalm 84.4 tells us that those who dwell in God's house are experiencing this, a reason to praise. This week, we are thinking about how God invites us to dwell in his house, and at the same time, God makes his house in us. When people come inter into interaction with you, they are entering God's courtyard, and when they arrive there, do they have a reason to praise? When you arrive in God's courtyard, do you find a reason to praise? We live in a broken world with broken people, and this doesn't happen 100% of the time. So today, I'd like to help you think about how you and the people you come into interaction with can discover a reason to praise more often. Just think about how sound works. Uh, the other day, Derek was here recording a sermon, and he was hearing an echo in the room. I, I couldn't hear it, uh, but he could, and so he wanted to prove it to me that it was real, that he was hearing something. So he began searching, and then finally he discovered something, an object in this room that was causing the sound. Can you guess what it was? It was that acoustic guitar. <laughs> the sound of Derek's voice was vibrating through the air in the room, and the guitar strings picked up that vibration. The sofas didn't. Not the pillows, not the rug, not the drapes, not the fireplace, and why not? What was it about the guitar strings that caused them to catch the sound of Derek's voice that gave the guitar strings a reason to praise, but not the fireplace? There are two reasons. Number one, Derek's voice. Number two, the strings were in a position to be moved. The sound of God's voice is vibrating through all of creation. And worship is what happens when we pick up on that. Is your heart in a position to be moved? Ezekiel 36, 26 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. A heart of stone can't be moved. A heart of flesh can be moved. Today's challenge is simple. Let your heart be moved. God, would you put a new spirit in us today, a spirit that can be moved. And may those who come into interaction with us today find a reason to praise. Amen.